to take on his task. If it is resources to regulate and, and, and uh, run mining efficiently, yes, we are very well resourced. But what other resources lacking? Uh, no, in terms of the men, the mining engineers, mm. as inspectors, the vehicles, the officers, and all those, mm. we have them now. Within the last two years, we've been very well resourced. Okay. They, they but mm. I'm talking about illegal mining. Right. There I, are I, several I, angles. No and, to it. Yeah, I mean, some we will just have to, you know, step up the enforcement mm. mechanism. Okay. Some, we, there are certain hard policy decisions we need to take. Mm. Th th these are the hard truths. They big mining companies mm -hmm. that you mentioned who mm -hmm. are doing mining that mm -hmm. has been endorsed by mm -hmm. the state. Mm -hmm. You have people in Obuasi, people in Kenya mm -hmm. and all those places always up in arms with them. Recently we had an outside broadcast in Obuasi that people mm -hmm. are not happy with uh, Anglo Godashanti for example Kenya same. I mean mm -hmm. they are always fighting them. Number one they say they are taking away their jobs Number two, they say there are chemical deposits that they leave there mm -hmm. and that will go to hurt them. So, um, for example, somebody says we need about 200 years to clear all that chemical, reclaim, revegetate and all of that. What do you say? Johnny, don't let us mix two things. Mm. What happened in Obuasi is just illegal, unlawful and as a nation we shouldn't allow it. How do you mean? I don't understand. Now, how do you have people entering uh, somebody's concession underground? Mm -hmm. There are several miners, thousands of them working in Obuasi. Mm -hmm. Obuasi has given about 70% of their grants lawfully to us. They've surrounded them with data. Okay. We're trying to parcel them out. The other block out areas that we, we want to move the small scale miners to go and work. Mm -hmm. Again, it gets back to the first point I raised. We need to do geological investigation so that in the medium to long term, all these people can get a place to work. Right. But it's raining deep into the night. You knock at my door, Johnny. You're stranded. You can't go out. The new vehicle is moving. You said, oh, Martin, I need a place to sleep. Mm. Now we don't do that. Those days we do that. Yes. So I get to a place to sleep, maybe with my security mm -hmm. or one of the boys' quarters there and all those things. Then 2 a.m. you walk and come and knock at my door and say, you want to come and sleep where myself and my wife are sleeping. How come that people come in, bring in their billions, set up a mine? Mm -hmm. If they are regulatory fillers and things, that's a different matter we can talk about that. But I'm talking about small-scale miners getting into other people's concession mm -hmm. and then go and destroy that, that's, things. That's wrong. It, it happened before and we have to shut their mind down. 